Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new first impressions video. Today I'm going to be doing a look. We're going to go over some swatches and of course my first impression thoughts of the Sigma new mod collection. We have a lot of goodies to talk about, so let's dive right in. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So first off, I have the palette. This is the So Mod palette and the packaging looks identical to the packaging of the actual palette. So this is more of that velvet texture. It's giving me like ABH Modern Renaissance vibes. We have the cute little gold embossment on there. When you open it up, the clear protective sheet also has that same kind of checkered diamond pattern. And of course, we have a full-size dual-sided brush. These are amazing. When you order Sigma palettes, you do get two of their actual brushes, kind of like in a dual end. So you're getting an amazing deal. They're amazing quality. It's that perfect Sigma brush quality. And here is the palette. So we have 14 beautiful shades in here. I'm not really sure the breakdown of mattes to shimmers, but I am gonna go more in depth with swatches later on in the video. I will link that timestamp down below if you're interested, but I am so excited about this. These mauve like berry tones give me life. Like I love them. In addition to the palette, we have the brush set. So this is a kind of velvety makeup bag. It is just a singular pocket in there. And then these brushes, it comes with with five different brushes, three eye brushes, and two face brushes. And they are these beautiful rose gold to gold ombre. So the very end of these brushes have like the gold glitter. I'm not sure if you can see that good. My lights are very bright. So um, hopefully it doesn't wash those out, but they're very pretty. I'm super excited about these as well. And last but not least, we have two lip products. We have a gloss. This is in the shade Passionate and the liquid lipstick in the shade New Mod. So I think we're going to be trying out both of these today. But let's go ahead and jump into the eye look. As always, I did prep my eyes with the Fenty Pro Filter Eye Primer. It is my holy grail. And I just set that with the shade Powdered Sugar right here from my Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. That's just gonna give me that nice clean base to work over. I really wanna use the Sigma brush set in this look. So we're gonna jump into the E49 brush. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. The writing is white and it's super light on these handles. I'm not sure what style look I want to go into. I think I want to do like berries. So the first shade I'm going to go into is New Mod, which is this mauve matte right in the top middle. And I'm going to take that on the tapered blending brush. And we're going to go ahead and pop that all over the crease. And actually that brush was a little too tapered for what I want. So I'm going to jump into the E24 brush. Same color. This is just going to be a little bit easier to blend a little bit more at once. I love a good tapered blending brush, but I think it was a little too tapered for a big wash of color like this. So this is blending super creamy. I wouldn't expect anything less from Sigma. It's just that nice diffused moment. And I'm just gonna continuously blend that in circular motions until it is blended to how I like it. Kind of matches my hair actually. I'm blending that up towards the brow bone. I am going to go in with a lighter shade in a little bit to do kind of the brow bone highlight, but I think this is a good start to the look. Now that we have that nice wash of color, I'm going to go back into the tapered blending brush and I'm trying to figure out which of these two shades I want to go into because I feel like they're almost identical. I think the shade I want to jump into is Edgy, which is this top shade right here. It is more of like a plummy mauve matte. And again, I'm taking that on the tapered blending brush and I'm going to start popping that in the outer portion of the look. And then as I blend it, I'm going to slowly bring it in towards the inner part a little bit. I'm not going to bring it all the way. I'm going to keep it mostly on the outer half of my crease, but just enough to give it some definition. I have very small eyes, so I like to leave the inner part pretty open so it makes my eyes look a little bigger. Now that I've layered a little bit of that shade, I'm going to go back into that first blending brush and I'm just going to make sure that all those harsh lines are blended away. I feel like my skin and like my makeup today just looks so glowy. Look how diffused and beautiful that looks. It looks so soft and nice. I feel like it's picking up really light in camera, but my lights are also super bright today. It's very rainy outside, so I had to compensate with my lights to try and make it a little brighter, but I think it's looking really pretty. 
I'm just going to take the fluffy side of the dual ended brush and because it has no product, I'm just using that to buff all those lines. So it's just nice and diffused. I want something that's going to pack a little bit of punch for the outer corners. I'm jumping into my Mac. This is the 221S and I'm going to go ahead and go into street style, which is this matte brown at the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and start layering that in the outer portion of my eye. So if you can see, I'm kind of layering it on the outer part of my lid and in the outer corner, just in that very outer third of the lid, and then gently dragging it in towards the center, following that same technique that we did with the other dark shade edgy. Again, taking that first blending brush and just going over everything one more time, just to make sure we don't have any harsh lines. That is one of the joys of the Sigma formula is it blends so flawlessly, like... It looks amazing. It looks so good. Next, I'm going to go into the E54 side of the dual ended brush and we're going to hop into Avant Garde, which is this really pretty like duochrome shade, duochrome shade. And then I also want to go into, I think, Artsy. So I think I want to put the duochrome in the first half of the lid and then Artsy on the middle of the lid and blend that into the brown. I think that'll be really pretty. So that I think is the game plan. I am going to spritz down with a little bit of my Morphe spray. This is not a necessary step. In fact, the Sigma formula is so buttery that you really don't have to spray them down, but that's just how I prefer to do my shimmers. This looks so pretty. So I'm starting with Artsy, that deeper shade, and I'm going to start kind of in the middle of my lid and gently tap that into the outer portion. I'm obsessed. Oh, this is so pretty. I feel like every time I review a palette, I'm always like, oh my gosh, it looks amazing. But like, it does. It's so good. I really like this shade. This is also kind of giving like shifty duochrome feels. It's giving me like Natasha Denona triochrome, like the middle shade in that palette. Using that same brush, I'm now going into Avant Garde, which is that duochrome shade. And this one I'm popping right in the inner part of my lid. I am bringing this up a little higher because I left this inner part a little bit open. So I'm bringing this shade up a little bit higher than my lid. And that's just going to give me the illusion that I have wider, bigger, more open eyes. I have teeny tiny eyes in reality. But I'm just blending that up and into artsy. And that's kind of the moment. It's very pretty. Now that I have both shimmers on my lid, I'm actually going to take my finger and hop back into artsy, which was that first shimmer. And I'm literally just patting that right over where Avant Garde got blended. And that's just going to give me a more diffused line. And then I'm also going to jump it back into the MAC brush and back into the dark matte street style. We're going to slowly build up that depth again in the corner just to make sure we have some good contrast and definition. Next, I'm going to go ahead and hop into Vogish, which is this bottom kind of berry matte. I'm going in with like this flat Morphe brush and I'm going to just start buffing that on my lower lash line. Using the same flat Morphe brush, I'm going to go into Flashy, which is this rose goldy shade in the bottom. And I'm going to pop that right over the shade we did on the lower lash line. I think now we can go ahead and do some inner corner and brow bone work. This is a Morphe M222. It is from their Pride collection a few years back. I'm going to go ahead and hop into Preppy, which is this bottom cream shade. And I'm going to pop that in the inner corner and just slightly underneath the brow bone. Using that same Morphe brush, I'm going to go into, I think this is pronounced hot or hot, H-A-U-T-E. Your girl don't know how to read half the time. So this is really pretty. It's kind of like a super shocky type shimmer shade. And I'm going to pop that in the inner corner and just under the brow bone as well, right where we placed preppy. This is what the look is looking like. I'm actually really obsessed with how this look turned out. I feel like it's super pretty. It's very wearable, everyday type look. And I love the tones, like berry tones. Phenomenal. Let's go ahead and pop on some mascara and we can move on to lips. For mascara, I'm just going in with my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. 
I feel very bare without my wings today, but I feel like this look doesn't need them. I feel like I can just rock the smoky eye look and mascara. I feel very put together despite not having my signature eyeliner. So now for lips, because there is a liquid lipstick and a gloss, I actually think I'm gonna do the liquid lipstick and then put the gloss over it. So I'm gonna quick jump in with my MAC. This is the Edge to Edge Lip Liner, and then we'll go ahead and apply the lips. This is what the final look is looking like. I'm actually in love with this look. Like, I think it looks so fun and so cute. I feel like it still looks a little washed out in camera, but I promise in person, maybe I can go back and adjust it a little bit in settings when I go to edit the video. But I love how this looks. It just looks so good and dimensional and beautiful. It's a perfect everyday look in my humble opinion. So now that I have used everything, let's go ahead and jump into my first impression thoughts on the product. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the lip products. So like I said, we have the liquid lipstick and the gloss. I love Sigma's lip products. The last time, actually the only other time I've tried Sigma products was when the Cinderella collab came out last summer. So I did review that on my channel and I really liked the lip products in that collection as well. But I love that the liquid lipsticks don't feel drying on the lips. They're very long lasting and I like that they're lightweight enough that you can wear them on their own and they're not gonna like lose any of their color or like their pigmentation throughout the day. They're gonna stay right where they are. But I also like that they're light enough that you can still layer it with glosses and it doesn't feel heavy. I have three different lip products on my lips today. I have the lip liner, the liquid lipstick, and the gloss. And my lips do not feel heavy or dry or just full, like they just feel normal. They feel very nice and luxurious. So I highly recommend the lip products. I think they're great. Of course, I also tried the brushes. I tried everything in the collection and the brushes, Sigma brushes are honestly my favorite things ever. In fact, I have exclusively been purchasing Sigma brushes for over a year now. I used to be a Morphe girl through and through and then I was a matte girl through and through and now I think I have finally found my home of best brushes ever and that is the Sigma brushes. They're just so well made, such good quality. I have so many of the Sigma brushes and they all look brand new still and I've used them, I've washed them, I've reused them, I travel with them and they all just hold their quality. They're all amazing and I love that in the palette you do get the dual ended brushes. So each dual ended brush in the Sigma palettes are two of the brushes you can actually purchase. So for this one, for example, this one is the E38 and E54 that came in the new mod, but I really like the Sigma brushes. If you haven't tried them already, I would definitely suggest you pick some up and try them. They are available on Sigma's site and I've also purchased some from Target, uh, online at Target. So it just depends where you prefer to get your brushes, but these are amazing. I just want all of my brushes in my collection to have these beautiful handles. I'm obsessed, absolutely obsessed and in love with these brushes. And of course we can't forget Miss New Mod palette. I'm obsessed with this as well. I feel like that's what I've said about everything in this particular review, but like I am. I love it. These are all things that I could see myself frequently reaching for. I'm very much a berry tone type of gal and if you are a berry tone lover I think you will also really like this collection. I love that the packaging is this beautiful like faux velvet. It's very much like the ABH soft cover palettes like the Modern Renaissance and I also love the shades in here. So these six over here are really gonna be more of your standard neutrals. So I feel like you have a lot of variety in this because these over here, the rest of them, these eight, are all gonna be your pops of color. You have like six straight neutrals, six berries, and then you have these two fun pops that you could kind of go either way with the gold and the very deep shade over here. I feel like there's so much you could do with this palette from every everyday wear to vampy wear. I obviously tried a lot of the plummy shades, the berry shades today, and I think they're all beautiful. Sigma shimmers are hands down my favorite shimmer formulas ever. They're so creamy and buttery. If you've ever tried the Super Shock formula from ColourPop, I feel like they give me very much Super Shock vibes. They slide like butter, like they're so creamy and dreamy and I have no other words to describe it. I just really feel like you should get this and try it for yourself if that's what's right for you. 
if you like berry tones, if you like everyday neutrally pink looks, I really think you will like this palette. I do want to transition into the swatches real quick. So starting off this first shade right here, this is Hot or Hot. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. It's H-A-U-T-E. And this is kind of a champagne with like a peachy pink hint to it. Uh, moving on, we have Sophisticated, which is this really pretty taupe matte. Posh, which looks a little bit purple in the pan, but it, as you can see, is more of like a rose gold shimmer. This one is New Mod, and this is just a really pretty pink matte. We have Avant Garde, which is going to give you that purpley blue duochromy goodness. This one is Edgy, which is a matte, deeper berry shade. This one is a little bit more neutral out of the two berry mattes, and you will see the other one in just a second. This shade is Glam, and this is more of a bronze shade. It has a very slight pink undertone to it, but it is a pretty true bronze. The matte cream shade right here is called Preppy, and this is just a very pretty creamy ivory shade, good for setting the lid or using as a brow bone or inner corner highlight. Next we have Vintage. This one is, I don't really know how to describe this color, honestly. It's kind of like a deep purpley brown. It's very glittery, very pretty. I feel like it would layer very well with other things. We have Street Style, which is that matte kind of warm reddish undertone brown. Flashy, which is going to be more of like a red rose gold shimmer shade. This one is Vogish, the other berry matte, and this one is a little bit more pinky purpley than the first berry matte. We have Artsy, which is this purpley duochrome shade. It's almost like purple to brown shift. And last but not least, we have Grunge, which is this really deep, I don't even know, like just deep cool tone brown. All in all, I feel like this collection was very cute. I love that Sigma does these smaller curated collections because everything in the collection is always super good. We have the brush set, we have the palette, and then the two lip products. And I didn't see a single dud in here. I thought everything was amazing. I am a little biased because pink is my favorite color. So of course I'm gonna like a pink themed collection. But if you are a lover of berry tones or those pinky neutral looks, I really do think this might be a good collection to pick up, especially if you've been considering trying Sigma's formula. I feel like it's a very good representation of what they can do as a brand and kind of just how their formulas are in general. I feel like everything was a huge hit. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below. I'd love to know if you've picked up this collection or if you're planning to. It was so fun chatting with you guys today and doing some makeup, and I hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are. I will see you all in the next one, friends. Bye!